Something horrible is happening. Oh my god, they are all coming inside. How did they get here? I have no idea. They walked into our base. I don't know how they got here, but they seem to be getting here and killing all our dudes. They came from here. Hello everybody and welcome back to Colony Survival. My name is Twisted and I have to say, it's really nice having this big open area, right? It looks so, so much better than before. I like it so much. We have like so much room now. We're gonna be building some awesome things. We still want to expand our banner a little bit, our uh, radius. I'm not actually sure yet if we want to actually move the banner. I think this is a pretty good location, but we could move it once more, right? Because we will be expanding the banner quite a bit later on. So there has been an update. They changed some things. We have one unemployed person somehow. How? Well, well not. Uh, we have one person missing. What's that? What's the job that we are missing? I'm not actually not quite sure. Maybe made an extra farm. That seems quite likely. Yeah, it's nighttime. Uh, while it's nighttime, while the zombies attack, I'm gonna talk about some changes they added. So they made the game a little bit uh, easier in the beginning, which means if we actually go over here, the science menu is now a little bit different. And also, there's a bunch of new researches. For so, for example, uh, bread production actually unlocks uh, the grinders and the oven. So. Right now, we we have these from before because we had them. Uh, old colonies are not affected, but if you start a new colony right now, you would have to do this research. Again, this research is really easy to do. It, uh, where is it? It's over here. It just takes, like, some berries, some copper parts, and some copper tools. It's really simple to do this, uh, but it's gonna actually help you out with uh, getting up to speed. Because there's, like, there's so many things at the beginning of the game, and this research is actually gonna make it a bit more streamlined. So you have, you have to do flax, mints, and shops. Uh, we haven't actually used these at all, so that's actually good. We have the splitting stump as well. We It takes like three socks, which is like three science bags and three bronze axes and the kiln. So yeah, these are now locked behind research, which I think is a good thing. I think that's a great thing because, again, when you start the game, there's so many things to do. And it can be a little bit tricky uh, getting up to speed. Where are all our dudes? We have all our dude posts filled up. Let me just actually quickly go check it. Also, I completely forgot about... Uh, the lighting. So yeah, we actually have our own personal camera. If we press, uh, I thought it was F, but apparently it's G. So if we press G, you can actually have some light. You can actually see what's going on. I completely forgot that was a thing. To be perfectly honest, uh, I'm not really proud of that, but it's gonna really help because I'm gonna be using it non-stop. All right, so these guys are looking good. We have more than enough ammo, which is fine. They're gonna just be killing everyone that comes close. Again, zombies oh, they are getting faster, are getting sturdier, but still, we have like so many cards here. They should not have any problems. Keeping up, keeping up with the demand. There's like so many zombies here. It's kind of crazy. Also, uh, one big change. Let me ju actually just go over here to our... I don't need to go anywhere. Uh, well, let's take a sword. Take a single sword. I don't know if there's a better way of taking out a single thing. So if you go over here, let's find a zombie. Let's hit a zombie with nothing. Or with a torch, because they're, they're the same thing. Hit this guy with... This thing takes like three hits to kill him. It's good. If you kill this guy with sword, it takes... Two hits. Well, technically less than two hits, but it's it's gonna be just like that. All right. So uh, we want to continue building up this thing, that tower of love over there, tower of food. Want to make it a bit higher. We also want to make some kind of barracks for our people. We're well, gonna do that in the morning, but I also want to actually adjust the borders here. So we're gonna actually I think go with bricks. I'm not sure if I wanna go with just normal stone bricks. Or, I think I might want to try out the other bricks from here, the, these bricks. We have enough of them for right now, right? Let's just give this a go, see if it's any good. It's just gonna have to remove a few of these. Like that. Looks a bit weird, huh? I feel like it looks a little bit weird. Let me get the other bricks as well. Over here. Just like that. I think this is honestly a bit better. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna actually also remove a few blocks here and just place these and just get this filled up again. There we go. Then no one's gonna be able to go this way. That works fine. These guys are actually dying from all the way there, huh? They have such big range. That's actually awesome. What's the range of these guys? Like 40 blocks? That's pretty nice. Yeah, so we're gonna actually go change all of these blocks into uh, wood, into uh, bricks. Oh god, no, 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 oh, this is bad. Ooh, boy. Okay, we have to go all, run all the way around. I'm gonna change the edge blocks to bricks. We maybe even do some more redecorating, make it a little bit 
bigger. Maybe we even change the edge block over here into bricks as well. That way it's gonna be maybe a little bit nicer. But actually, let's go over here into the thing. Go in here and just remove this. There we go. Alright. So, I have to remove all the torches. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. We're gonna lose some torches. It's okay. Just get these things replaced. We can get the torches back later on. Should be no problem. They look, this looks a lot better already. Again, wasting torches is not a big deal. We can make more of them easily. They're fairly cheap to make. Alright, the zombies have stopped coming. Okay. There's still some dudes here. Might as well help out with our sword. I think our guards, guards will be able to take, take, care, take care of them. No problem. Alright. Okay, so I replaced everything with bricks. It looks a lot nicer now. I do like it quite uh, quite a lot, actually. It looks really nice. I also want to maybe add some extra like, things... Like over here, something like that. Maybe even add some little things over on the side. Maybe that's a bit too much. I wish we had like stair blocks. They will be adding those, but they would really help out with the design stuff more intricately. So we could actually just have a little stair block over here. It would look quite, quite cool. Because right now it's only blocks, you know, which is great. But having a little like bit uh, more of gradual blocks would be quite, quite lovely. So uh, what is the next step here? If you look at our science, we can see that we are at 24 out of 25, which means we're gonna have the science done in like no time, which is gloriously good. Just gotta wait maybe a few more seconds for that, and then we can even do the other science. And the, the science we were missing from before. So it's actually gonna increase our HP. There we go, we did that. Got an got an achievement. 125 is our HP now, which is good. We are just be enough, it doesn't actually raise our HP. We have to eat something to raise it. That's kind of weird. Uh, let's uh, let's get let's get bread production. You know, shouldn't take too long. Do we have enough berries for that though? We have more than enough berries. No problem. All right, that's gonna be real easy. Let's go get that. Let's actually get all of these easy ones that are early game researches, because we we do need those as soon as possible. All right, so this is all going to be like wood over here, right? So what I'm going to... Oh, but if I do this, then they'll be able to get in the thing. Okay, what well, 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 something like this? Let's actually get all of these blocks over here. We should have enough wood for this in inventory, right? If you look at our... Yeah, we have planks. We have plenty of planks. 200 planks should be enough. We also have more logs if we need to change these into the other things. Just get, like, all, all this filled in. And then we're gonna... This is gonna be the floor of our building, because this is gonna be the floor of the world. And we can actually maybe add a carpet inside or something else, something other than just wood. But we might actually... No, I'm gonna start with wood, then I'm gonna build a thing, and then I'm gonna just change it with some other layer. Because I wanna do the layout first. It's gonna be our little barrack thing where people live. It's gonna be like one floor, half a floor. Just don't wanna make it uh, look like a cube, you know? So make it look a little bit asymmetrical. Or a little bit uh, more layered, if you will. Like an onion, like an ogre. Exactly like that. Okay, so I have the foundations for our barracks. We can fit a lot of beds in here. It's gonna be great. We need like three beds for floor, so we can fit like infinitely many beds, which is gonna be great. So what I wanna do now is I wanna actually have a little tower here. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna have a little staircase, you know? So this is gonna be the edge of this thing. We wanna have a staircase. How can we make a good staircase here is the question. We'll probably have to uh, like not have a hole here. Maybe we could have the door here. You know, that actually would look kind of cool. Because the door goes straight out here. Uh, so can we do a good tech with, with a 3x3? Three three? I think I can just go, like, remove the torches here. And just fill with this wall in for a second, you know? Usually fill it in with a temporary block that can be easily removed later on. Let's get some bricks in here. All right, we can change that later on. So this is all going to get removed. That's how we know what we're dealing with. So let's see if we can make a reasonable staircase with only three blocks so we'd go over here and over here this would be in the more stuff and that would be like a wall here kind of maybe want to go with bricks in on this layer like this that would look cool zombies are coming in again but that's okay that's fine i don't really care i have been doing the research while we are building this just so you know i didn't forget about that don't you worry so we have like Two, three blocks here. It's it's a bit steep though, right? This is the ground floor. We would be entering over here, right? Just have like an entrance. Doesn't have to be in this location, but it has to be on this layer. There we go. That's gonna help us out. We're gonna be on this layer when we enter. So what we could do is have one, two, three, and then one and two, three. 
and then you enter over here, like in this area, to the farm. And this would be a wall again, right? And this would be a wall here, which means the wall would be like over here. But then the problem is, it's a very tiny area, right? Because this is all a wall. This is three by three. It's very, very claustrophobic. But it doesn't have to be any better, right? That's one option. That's one option. But the problem is, I don't want to have it just one block. I want to have it maybe be a bit thicker. So what I'm going to actually try to do here, I'm going to remove all of these blocks. And we're going to actually expand this. Like by one more layer here. And make it a 4x4 four four stairwell. I think it's going to look a lot better. It's going to allow us to do more cool things. So this is going to be our barracks over here. Fits a lot of beds. That's actually quite nice. Then we have like a little entrance over here. And you start climbing the stairs over here. Uh, but actually if we do that. We need to go have the stair climb. We need to have like a 2 by two layer here, huh? Do like a staircase here and then like a little platform. And then a thing and then a thing, but then we have to want to fit a platform. Hmm. We'd have to have it on the same layer, you know? I actually don't mind that because this is not the biggest staircase in the world. It might look better, I think. Just want to see if that's actually a thing that's doable. So we could do something like this. Then here. Then here, and then let's actually just pull up a wall here. We'll make it look nicer later on. This is just a temporary experimentation phase. Here. It's a bit claustrophobic still, I feel. The problem is, like this is in the wrong location now, but we can fix that. By just moving everything to... Okay, I think I like this a lot. I think we're going to go with this. If you guys don't like it, let me know in the comments. You can easily change it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just remove all of these things. And the staircase start over here, you know. There you go. And it's going to be pretty dang good. It's going to be amazing. Let's go build this bad boy. Alright, so I just noticed that the first of ours died. Because there's a zombie on the loose here. Gotta take him out. Stop killing my people. That was kind of nasty. But we can fix it. We have some fair beds. We can just go place them over here and get the people we are missing. I guess we do need to expand our walls because this inn is not good. Let's get two beds over here. Let's actually get all three. Let's just go into our banner and let's uh, we call it science menu. is now here as well. Interesting. I don't think that was there before. That seems like a new thing. All right, so I've been building this there. This looks like a monstrosity. <laughs> it looks so bad from a distance. It's okay. We're going to fix it up. Don't, don't you worry about it. The problem is, uh, this is the, the ground floor level over here. The problem is, this never looks good. Because if it's like two blocks, I think it just looks bad um, on the outside. I think, like, ideally, we want to go with something that is maybe like two blocks. And then just, like, uh, two blocks for the, for the stops between the floors. And one block for everything else. So, for example, we would have, like, when I mean stops, but I think everything is a corner then, right? Yeah, everything's in the corner. So I think we have to go 5x5 five five then. But then we have like so little room here. This was like perfect because we'd have like two beds on each side. And I do really want to stick with this. So I'm actually going to have to stick with this solution. Let's see if we can make a decently looking stairwell. This looking stairwell will be just... Uh, just of going up and down, you know? Let's see if we can, there's a way to do that. So what if we actually did something like this instead. So we had like a thing, had like a thing here, and had this be a floor. Maybe like have one more block, you know? And then we could have to go like all the way around, maybe. What if we just had... No, it's, it's sort of like... If you had like a thing that you just go over here and climb. Like here and here, and then you go over here. And then just have a thing here and then here, and remove these two blocks. What about this? It's still a little bit claustrophobic. But it's not that bad. The problem is, like, this is five blocks. The five blocks is different between the floors, right? Every floor is five blocks thick, so we have one, two, three, four, 
blocks between each floor. So we need to have five blocks floor, otherwise the tower will not work well at all. So I think what I'm gonna do for the time being, to make it simple, because I'm just... I've been thinking about this too much and I can't think of a good solution. I'm gonna have a double door here. And I'm gonna just go with like a, the simplest staircase you can imagine. Just do one block on the outside, it's gonna be pretty okay. It's not the best thing, it's not the worst thing. It's gonna it's gonna work for us, you know? And that's what matters most. So we're gonna actually go over here and let's just go fill this bad boy in. Make sure it looks okay from the outside as well as the inside. Also, we can add some windows to make it a little bit happier looking. All right, so I finished uh, the stairwell. I'm also uh, trying to figure out what would be a good way to add a roof. I also didn't add any windows. I should go inside here and add a nice little window over here, let's say. Let's add another one over here. That's gonna look quite, quite nice, I feel, as we move along. We don't need any windows on the outside. That's, that's perfectly, perfectly fine. We also need any windows over here either. I think that's gonna look okay to just, like, make the tower itself look nice. Right now it looks a little bit too stumpy, I feel. Um, because, I mean, that's gonna be the stairwell tower, right? That's gonna be on every floor. It's gonna go up as high as the farm, which is something to keep in mind. These guys are still alive. I think these guys are going back to work. Yeah, I need to actually get these guys out on my own. That always gonna make, start, start causing problems. And we don't want that, right? We don't want problems. I'm gonna lose some people again if you don't ca take care of these guys. I should take out my sword. I know, I know. But it's not the most important thing in the world. Alright, this seems to be looking good. Oh, zombie. Hello, sir. Don't kill foresters, thank you. Alright, more research has been completed. Let's actually move it along and do some more things over here. We are still missing the mint, that should be really easy to get. And let's actually go take a peek at our plaster production, because we do want to build use some plaster in the buildings. I mean, not for the roof, because that looks a little bit weird. Maybe, I don't know, let, let me know, because there's, there's not that many blocks that you can use to build in this game, I feel. Uh... Because they're all blocks, you know? I could use, like, grass, but it would just look weird. All right, let's go and find where we make plaster, right? Not over here. We make plaster in the workbench, right? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Plaster. It needs stone bricks and gypsum. Make a hundred of those. It's a very low priority, though. Which is something to keep in mind. What else are we not making at all? That's okay, I think. Beds. Let's actually make 20 beds. We seem to be low on... Are we low on planks? We are low on planks. How come we are low on planks? Because we are low on logs. Because you're actually using a lot of firewood, right? What are the guys missing when they're making stuff? You're making logs over here. And I did just use up a bunch of your planks, so that's fine. Making coal, you're making stuff. Everyone seems to be making stuff except you who are trying to make some flour. Excuse me? No, you don't have any flour. Make bread. That's okay. Um... We need another grinder, you know? I think that's a thing we could use. Let's actually get the grindstone over here, and let's get another grindstone over here. Like, next to this guy. And just hire someone to actually do his job. I can maybe look like, at one more. Now let's just get two. Um, command tool. Not, not that. Give me a colonist. We have enough beds for them, because I did place a bunch of new beds in the new building. Alright, what else can we do here? A lot of gypsum, a lot of stuff is being mined. Science, how are we doing with that? What are you missing for science? You're missing, what are those? Bronze plates, right? Why are we missing bronze plates all of a sudden? You're missing clothing as well. You're missing gold here, that's okay. You are... Okay, just place that to take a peek at how what it'll look like, huh? So we can actually just remove this, because you will never do anything, because we don't have these things in mind yet. Just hang around, do stuff. And the problem is, we have enough linen, right? We have enough flax to make... You're making thousand of thousand linen? Do we really need a thousand linen, though? What if we're, like, limited to 500? Yeah, let's get one more tailor, you know? Ooh, the research is awesome. Let's, uh, gunsmith. We can actually do gunsmith now, huh? 25 stuff. I, th I think that's actually a new one. Don't think this was a thing before. Yeah, we just had matchlock guns immediately. Uh, banner radius, we need steel and silver for those. Let's get the HP regen. Yeah, let's take a peek at that. And what I'm gonna do is gonna place another tailor shop somewhere over here. And we could use another... Better two beds. I think that's okay. Uh, actually, it's better to have more beds. 
This is gonna go to the other farm, and I don't want to do that. Let's just have extra bits here. It should be able to handle that, no problemo. All right, and we just want to have everyone employed to make some more clothing. That should be fine. The guys are doing your job properly. You are sleeping? I guess you're the guard. Yeah, you're a guard. That's okay. That's actually perfectly reasonable. I don't mind you sleeping at all. You guys are not sleeping, though? Can't go... Oh, you, you're stuck. You shouldn't be stuck. You can like, simply walk here, but I guess that's too far away for you, maybe? That's kind of weird. Um... I mean, I don't mind you sitting here, but I guess we could give you this, but you're still gonna get stuck. Oh, I, I think I know what happened. They, um, uh, I think they choose a bed when they go to, when they try to go to sleep. They chose this bed because it's the closest one, but they can't go to bed there, you know? Yeah, there's no way for you to go to bed there, my friends, because it's blocked off. That's the problem with having things blocked off in your base. We will need to actually get it unblocked off. We need to finish this building first. It's gonna take a while because we do need more planks. I think I don't think this what we have right now is gonna be enough because we have like literally none in our stockpile. We need this to make stuff. So how are we doing with our forestry? That's the problem here, huh? Forestry what was a problem. Grass. Uh, it's usually what's the size of this thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by nine, I think, is what we made it. So, actually make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, the plan, oh no, we will not be building this up. And we don't want sand, right? We don't want sand in our building, in our uh, land. We're gonna be filling this up with grass anyways, we're just gonna have to get the grass. We're gonna have to spend some time AFK mining the grass, and who knows, by the time we get to that point, maybe they will actually add uh, automated mining into the game. Or maybe a way to create grass. Uh, to grow grass on a farm or something, I don't know. A grass farm. A legal grass farm. Uh, command tool forester. Let's get a forester gump over here. Perfect. Perfection. No clones remaining. Let's get a guy over here. Should be able to grow trees, no problemo. And we can actually... Uh, Focus on fortifying this a little bit more as well. If you look at our borders, like they're really far away, I could totally see myself building up a wall. It goes all the way here, like a temporary wall, because it's gonna take us a while until we do a new wall expansion, right? This is the middle of our city. This is the tree farm, and this is the other thing. So we could totally wall this off temporarily. We require a ton of resources, though. I'm not really sure I want to do that. That would be a big process. Okay, so we should be having some problems. Uh, these guys are trying to reach the beds over here, but they can't. Uh, because, of course, it's not viable. Oh, give me the arrows. Okay, we have to actually protect these guys ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna actually lose people tonight. Unfortunately, we could just open this up over here and then just defend until these guys get home and then block them off. But that's not, this ain't gonna work. We're no, this is actually really bad. This is not a deal at all. They can go to bed now, but it's gonna be a problem. Just fire these guys. They're so fast, getting stronger every day. Come on, just keep firing at them. We could use a guard here, I guess. Yeah, the problem, we need to actually wall this off. We need to actually wall this off properly. Make sure they're all getting inside. We need to wall this off. This entire area needs to be off because we need to have beds in a secure area. Just having them anywhere. Oh, this is bad. They're coming from, from here. Go over here and block this off. All right. I think that's most of our dudes safe now. Yeah, we really, really need to get a temporary wall. So actually, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try and get a wall. Like, just expand the wall to both sides. But it's actually really risky because it's nighttime. And they're really mean during the nighttime. They might go and bite me in the butt. And I wouldn't like that. That seems very, very not fun. I realized that we had a ton of leaves. We had like almost 3,000 leaves in our inventory. And we actually never use these for anything. These look lovely. And I will definitely be using them to decorate our massive uh, majestic city when we're done. But right now I thought to myself, you know what? We could totally use this to make a nice little wall here, you know? Exactly what I'm going to do. It's going to be really easy to remove these. They're really, really bright. They actually get removed really, really quickly. So we can do this like in no time. Uh, once we finish our expansion, it would take a little bit longer to remove. 
It looks better for a wall, but I think this is gonna be quite, quite nice. Let's actually go all the way here. We're gonna build it all the way to that coasting over there. And that means uh, we can totally move our guards to a new location if necessary. We'll see if that's gonna be a thing we wanna do. Okay, so I fully finished the uh, massive hedge. And now we only have one place where they can enter. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually move those main gates over here. And we're going to actually open this bad boy up for business. Interestingly enough, this doesn't cause siege mode. Even though we are completely blocked off from the world. At least we should be. Is there like a thing where they can enter? Because it's not entering siege mode. When it really, really should enter siege mode. Maybe we have a hole somewhere? I hope not. Um, let's take a peek quickly. These guys are going to bed. No problemo. Have all this blocked off. Maybe that's a bug. Maybe we have a big enough area walled off. You never enter siege mode. If so, we could actually let's go test that. Let's go test that. You know, let's actually just uh, leave this hedge up and see if we enter siege mode. If we do, we can easily just uh, break open the blocks and make him enter. But I'm not gonna worry about moving all the guard posts over here. I'm gonna just go take a peek if we are missing something real obvious. Maybe I totally did miss a block somewhere. And they can climb over here easily. Let's just go. This is the most likely culprit over here. No, but I walled this off pretty nicely, huh? Maybe it's still like not adjusted since they say they changed the default uh, radius of the banner. Maybe it takes that into account. But right now, it seems that we can just have it all walled off and be super safe without worrying about zombies at all. I wonder if they're gonna come for us or if they will just leave us alone. Okay, so it's slowly getting dark, which means they're gonna start attacking soon. While they do that, I can actually just go and uh, change this area to have like a ton of bricks. Oh, yep, uh, siege mode disconnected. That's actually bad. All right, so we need to actually fix that immediately. Food is going down rapidly. We gotta open it up. Let's open it up over here. There we go. It's gonna free us up. So yeah, I think it did a little rescan when we entered the. Uh, when we entered siege mode. So what I'm gonna do is just do this and quickly add a bunch of stuff over here. Everyone's gonna come from over there. I'm gonna actually keep this area secure. Make sure no one can get inside. We can easily replace all of this with bricks while you wait. And they're gonna come, come at us, but they will just be ignoring this area for forever, right? And they're gonna go around here into the hedges and all the way around the edge. They can't get in here, right? Just wanna make sure they can't get in here at all. Yeah, they're gonna get killed by our guys, no problem. Oh. But uh, we do actually want to move that gate. We can actually just copy it and add it over there to the entrance. That's way we're gonna be super safe. We can do whatever we want inside because we're always going to be safe from zombies unless they somehow break through, which should never ever happen. All right, something horrible is happening. Oh my god, they are all coming inside. How did they get here? I have no idea. They walked into our base. I don't know how they got here, but they seem to be getting here and killing all our dudes. They came from here. How did I get here? Did they actually spawn here? Can they actually spawn inside this area? Because they just came here somehow. Is there like a way for them to climb some? <gasps> oh, because they can just... Oh, I'm a dumbass. They can just walk over here on, on the... Oh my lord, I made a huge mistake. Because they can just walk over here. Gotta actually lower this all the way. Oh my god. That was a huge mistake. They are... <laughs> they actually killed a bunch of our dudes. That's not good at all. They just started attacking like maniacs. That was super, super scary. Yeah, I'm gonna actually just end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know in the comments. Leave a like to show your support. It's always appreciated very, very much more than you can even imagine. But yeah, well, once again, thank you all very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Honey Bunny Games. Now we'll see you next time.